All right, folks, back on the Boss Man Show. It's time for Sean Walker's Coaching Show, Episode 4. Here we see the coach himself, uh, Sean Walker, joins us here. Uh, it's one in one weekend for the coach and his team. We'll discuss all that here on the Sean Walker Show. Well, brother, how you doing, man? Uh, there was a, you wanted to get the win last night, but how's life been treating you, man? Hey, life is good, man. Better to be seen than to be viewed, and I'm here. So um, I'm, life is good, uh, you know. Uh, the worst thing that happens to you is you lose a basketball game. You're living, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, and, and, and how things giving for you and your team, man? I know it's time of year to use help your young men realize. I think for they ought to be playing college basketball. A lot of guys want to when they can, and uh, they're privileged to be able to do that and uh, be able to go out there and get the education talent as well. So, so how's that been for you guys, man? Mm -hmm. It's holiday season teaching you to teach us something for you guys about being thankful and paying you thanks to others who might not have as much as they do right now. No question about it, man. We were able to have a couple of days off um, for guys to be able to go home and spend with their families. There were a few guys that were unable to go home, so we provided them a festive uh, meal and experience here on the campus, um, just like they would if they were to be home. And uh, Thanksgiving is always a great time of reflection for, for all people, and we want to make sure that our young people understand that uh, having a college experience and having family that loves you and having the college experience and being able to play college basketball. Those are all things to be thankful for, uh, but also just being thankful for life and health and strength. Uh, uh, th that's important. And we want to always try to influence our guys to, to have a good understanding that the most important thing in life is time without time that you, you, you don't have health and you don't have family, you don't have anything. And so we need to be thankful for those things, but we also need to value the time that we have. 100%, because you know, I saw, and it's funny you say that because, you know, it's like people are here today and they go on the mall. Like you said, they're seeing that view because, you know, like just life is life, man. And, and, you know, you have to understand that and really value the opportunities that you have, really value the people around you. I get the last time you're going to be around because you never know. We None of us know the hour of the day. So it's, you really need to value every second we have, really use it for the right purpose, not for purposes of evil. That no question. Down. No question. No question. And uh, Sean, let me ask you, man. I was starting with Lamar and Owen, man. Uh, got a, a big win against those guys, seventy-one, sixty-seven. Um, still a still a late run by those guys. Uh, so get your thoughts on that game right there, and uh, how you got spotted in that game, man. Well, you know, Lamar Owen was a tough opponent. Um, I would say to you that pound for pound, we're not going to be more talented than our opposition on a night-to-night -night basis. And Lamar Owens is probably one of those nights that we need to, to connect as a group and play better as a team more so than they did. Um, and I thought we controlled the game for the most part. I, I felt like we made a tremendous amount of uh, wonderful plays uh, that afforded us a chance to have a comfortable enough lead at the end to finish the game. And then we made enough errors to keep the game close and made it difficult for us to get out of the gym. Um, so uh, I was ecstatic about getting our first SIAC win. That was the third win that we've gotten this year. Um, the second countable win, so to speak, but it's our third win. Um, and and we're, 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 we're moving in the right direction. Um, we want, you know, obviously winning our first SIAC game and uh, having that game at home, you know, was, 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 was really a good thing for us uh, here early in the year. And we talked about this guy before, yeah, Sean, Tyreek McAdoo. Double double for you against LeBron Owen, uh, coming in for you, stepping up for you with big plays and big, big man staff for you. Talk about talk about that young man's improvement over the year and the way he's gonna be mean to you going down the road here. Yeah, McAdoo is important uh, component to us. He's a senior, he's a veteran. Uh, he's been here. He loves Allen, uh, and we need him to play well. He's gonna be the guy who uh, who ends up getting the the toughest matchup on the opposing team of interior player four guy combo four guy. He needs to be a, a, a super aggressive defender for us. He needs to get to the glass. And we also need him to score some points. Um, we had a good game against Lamar on, and when he plays well, we'll have we have a chance to win. He gives us that that next component down on the box that that helps us uh, uh, really be able to stand tall with the with with the best of them. No doubt. And also in that game, uh, you get 14 steals. I know you love defense, so it makes you happy to get 14 steals and and, and get out of transition a little bit there with those steals, man, and be able to initiate early offense for, for, for you guys. 
Yes, it, it, absolutely. Well, we 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 were able to trap a little bit early in this game. I think we caught them all on off by surprise. Um, we had not really trapped and gone to to get out and and and, and go for the ball the way we did against them. And uh, I think that helped us early in the game. We got them out, out of balance. <clears throat> they were unable to 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 kind of isolate us and and utilize the mismatches that they would have had. And we, we were able to generate some points through our defense. And that's that's going to be important for us um, as we move through. We know a lot of nice teams won't throw us the ball, but we need to create the balance in the game the way that we that we need it so that we can offset some of um, the great play by some of the individual players that we'll see as we move forward to in, in the SIAC. No doubt. And that controlled chaos of, you know, changing up, changing up defenses, trapping some, playing at 120 to 140s and coming back, you know, doing some switchable things, playing red. You know, those things really help when you have to, you know, be connectivity wise and knowing your game plan and really causing guys, they can have constant. Some guys are going to get even we know this from playing ball. Some guys are going to get there no matter what. But if you make it uncomfortable for them a little bit there, throw them off the end, that two for one percent right there open up for you guys to do what you do, get out, transition, get easy baskets. Well, at the end of the day, great players are going to be great players. I mean, there's not going to be a guy that's averaging 20 points that you're going to keep zero. All right. There's a reason he's averaging 20. That means he's averaging 20. He can get 10 one night and come back and get 40 the next to average 20. So we want to make it our brand to make, to not give away points. All right. To make it difficult for, for our opponent no matter whether they are a great player or whether they're not a good player, um, we we need to make sure that we offer the resistance that we need and, and then try to give up one shot at the basket so that we can uh, get up the floor. One thing's for sure and two things for certain, you can't keep a team from shooting the ball, all right? Whether it's a good shot or a bad shot, they're going to shoot it. And uh, so you want to make uh, as many of those shots bad shots or contested shots so we have a chance to, 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 to rebound it. No doubt. You held them. Uh, to 39% shooting, that has to make you happy right there. That's cold on that for shooting. And completing completing it with the rebounds is a very important defensively because I know get killed on – not – I know this from many NBA too. Get killed on the glass is going to kill you. You want to make sure you click back, get that rebound and get out and get going down the court. So you want to get that going. But keeping that shooting up since has to make you happy, knowing how deep he – how much you love deep defensively the floor, my brother. Yeah, that's our goal to keep teams shooting the ball under 40% for a game. That's winning basketball. I think to get in championship contention, you need to be in the top two or three components of defense. And that shooting percentage is one of them. Shooting percentage, giving up three-point percentages, that those are those are important. Um, so so obviously we were able to do that against Lamar on and have a chance to win. No doubt. And it's going to lane, uh going to sit to about lane here, man. Uh I know it was a low scoring battle with multiple runs. And using that to try to talk to your team about staying focused. Yeah, we know it's a game of runs, but trying to limit the runs, you know, trying to not compound the run with a rush shot or getting a lot of loose composure, not making a, a bad pass because they made a few shots, but staying true to the game and understanding that things are going to happen. Don't let them athletes affect you and what, what we got going on. Well, you know, Lane, Lane was last night. I'm still not quite healed from, from last night. You know, I, I would say to you that the point total, it was a low-scoring game. We were down 124-23 at the half. We were right there where we needed to be. The problem with the Lane game and the scoring is that we threw the ball away 18 times in the first half. We threw the ball away 26 times for the game. Lane didn't trap one possession. Those are self-inflicted. Uh, uh, that's a self-inflicted disaster. All right, mm. we're screening and fouling. We're throwing the ball away to the other team. We're giving up live ball turnovers. We're, you know, we we missed at least four uncontested layups last night. All right, and so it says a lot about our team that again we were in a two-possession game. Uh, and, and lost the game 60-55. Lane is a good team. They have three really good players um, that, that that are catalysts behind them, and we let them, you know, 15 points. Two guys getting 15 points in a 60-point game is a lot. Two guys got 30 of their 60. Next guy got 10. They got 40 of their 60. They were in the game plan. But it's difficult to keep, keep great players under control when you throw them the ball. 
mm -hmm. right? Um, when you when you don't capitalize, we were up four points, seven about seven minutes to go in the game, up four. We throw the ball inside, we miss an uncontested layup. We come down the floor, they hit a three. All right, we come back down the floor again, throw them the ball, they throw it inside to to Johnson. We don't double where we're supposed to. He goes and gets an and one. Two possessions. You go from up four to down two, and now you throw another ball away. They come down the floor. You go. You that's a that's a that's a eleven point swing in three possessions. Mm -hmm. you know? and so we've got to improve on our mental errors. We got to improve on on those on the type of things that that that's a sum up. You know, we 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 got the tip. We stole the tip. Go down the floor uncontested on the first play of the game and miss an uncontested layup with no defense there. All right. So we 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 do enough. Uh, we've done enough to to not be able to seal in wins and not be able to play well enough to keep leagues. And so those are things that a, a young team that's trying to learn how to win. Um, we need to fix those things or work on those things so that they are to be fixed, um, which will change our fate at the end of games a lot. And which which is once again, I know it's not what you not out of what you want to have is a loss, but. Then when turnovers are teachable things and they can correct them, they're correctable. That's what's the beauty of it, that is correctable. It's not like something you can't correct. This is lemon turnovers, not throwing the ball away. And we know that's the ball is everything. We know that the ball is everything, man. And you know, I've seen that. It's like, man, if lemon turnovers, we'll be we'll be okay. And yeah. I think going forward, that is something you can teach to talk to your team about earth of the day and down way. Lemon turnovers would be in every game our defense. Yeah, well, you turned the ball over 26 times. I, I try to couple that with, and my math is bad, but let's see, 26 times three is 72 Eight. points. Oh, 78. 78 however, however much it is, 78 points. Yep. That's a possible 78 points that we can get. We had the ball 26 times and didn't shoot it. Mm -hmm. And you lost five points. <laughs> All right. So, you know, the, the problem with the turnovers for me are they're, they're all unforced. They're, 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 they're nonsense, so to speak. And they come, there was one, one sequence in the game that we turned the ball over seven of the eight times that we had it right back to back to back to back. So that's losing basketball. You know, and and um, you're not going to win that way. We've got to get guys back in character. We've got to we've got to get shooter shooting, passers passing, post up guys posting up, and we don't need people that should be shooting to be dribbling and posting. We don't need post up guys to be dribbling. So this is a part of our maturation process. We've got to get better at that. We've got to get in character. We've got to stay in character. We've got to know that we've got to be connected. Uh, when you take a look at um, the Lamar on game, they shot 39% from the field. We gave up 45%, 44, 45% this game. You're going to give up 40 plus percent when you throw the ball away and you can't guard uh, your turnovers. So this is kind of where we are. Um, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm still excited about the fact we are one and one. Uh, I feel like we could have definitely have won two, but we didn't. Let's capitalize on what we did, the uh, mistakes that we made, and go and try to win our next game, which is Thursday. No doubt. You got Morris's team you played uh, already is down in Sumter. It's like you said it would before. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough three games for us for you. We're going we, we to claim it again. In Jesus' name, we're going to win these games. We're going to claim it already. But uh, I'm sorry to get back on the court on, th on Thursday night, man, and get on this, this road trip here and test you guys once more and see where you, how you guys improve over these next three games. We're going to see what our character is like. Not only do we have Mars on the road, they're going to be a tough opponent. They took us to overtime here at home. Kentucky State's a great team. They've got a phenomenal player over there. Had 40 points the last time that they played. And then uh, Antonio Davis does a great job over at Central State. You know, so we you know we've got our hands cut out, but we've got to take one game at a time. Um, this, this, this group that I have is not – there's no game that I think – there's not a game that I think that we roll into that we should win, all right? There's not a game that we roll into that I think we can't win. So we've got to figure out what our balance is as a group 
particularly even more importantly now that we're going on the road. I believe that our next six or seven games are on the road. So we've got to get good quick. Like not only do we finish the semester on the road, but we come back next semester, first of January, and go to Tuskegee and Spring Hill. And it doesn't get any easier. All right. So we've got to we've got to sure up some things. We've got to we've got to be a little bit smarter of a basketball team here and there. And then we've got to figure out how to play more connected. We play more better together, which will help us go on the road and beat Mars, which will be important and see what we can do with Kentucky state and, and central state of Ohio, um, you know, and, and, and get on that road and just, and to see how we can gut it out. We're going to be, we, we, we never be watching and praying for you, brother. We, we know, we know you're going to do a great job. But one thing, they're going to be very much prepared. We know that about you. They're going to be prepared for sure. Well, that's what we need. That's prepared. important for this team. This, this team is important that we, we, that we're super prepared and we take our mental preparation seriously which is another thing that we're working on here. That's a part of our maturation process is that um, we've got to be able to think and play at the same time. We've got to be able to do our jobs, know what our jobs are and do those jobs because, again, um, we're not going to have the most talented player on the floor every night. And I'm not saying that we don't have good players, uh, but we need to be a great team and so that we can offset great players. Or we don't have a great player. We have a bunch of guys that can play, and we need to connect um, very, very well so that we can be the better team each and every night. No doubt, with son, practice, practice, my brother. We, I'm gonna let you get to that man. It's good talk since I was on the Sean Walker show episode of four here, man. We'll keep this thing going, my brother. Until we talk to you next, next Tuesday, brother. Fantastic. Appreciate you, boss man. Thank you very I, much. I see you, brother. All right, man. We'll talk to you. All right.